good grief. All right, it is the second Saturday of the Pennsylvania archery season, and it is a chilly fall day. The leaves are turning. It's a beautiful day, um, but <clears throat> I couldn't get my 14-year-old daughter to go hunt with me. My son just got home from college, and he's had a bunch of schoolwork to do. My wife said it was too cold. I took two kids out earlier this week, so I'm going out. And my goal is shoot a doe tonight. Um, I got a bunch of doe tags. And this particular piece of property, we honestly need to shoot a bunch of does. And I want some meat for the freezer. So first doe out tonight gets it. And uh, I don't know if a big shooter buck would come along too. But heading to one of our uh, White Tone Institute food plots. It's called the Arrow Top Plot. Um, really cool plot. <laughs> Getting a lot of action to it. I suspect that... We will definitely be in business, so uh, hopefully I can close the deal and put my first tag on one this year and get some meat in the freezer. So stay with me. It's the first time I've been in here in a while. Man, it looks awesome. This plot absolutely blew up. So, and we've been getting a lot of pictures on our Moultrie cameras from this plot, so I'm suspecting we'll see some deer tonight, but I'll keep this rolling and show you on the way down what she looks like. Look at the size of those turnips. They're eating all the tops off. the stand right down here it's getting a little beat up we've had it in here for about 10 years but it does the job okay we are in here and all set up man I'm blown away I've been back here I haven't seen the trail cam pictures so I knew this plot blew up but we got turnips not quite the size of basketballs but probably about soccer balls out there and it's just full of them. That is a pretty looking food plot. One bad thing about this stand is I'm hoping it gets cloudy is the sun just until it gets to about an hour and a half before dark is just right in your grill but it is what it is. The wind's perfect for here. I'm self filming tonight. Here's my setup. I, I'm in this tripod that has a shooting rail on it and I have this nifty little contraption. I shot a really nice buck two years ago out of a, the exact same kind of tripod, not this stand, but did it this way. So I know it can be done. So here's a look. All right, so we're gonna, we're gonna shut up now and hopefully, like I said, Looking for a nice big doe tonight is, is what I'm looking for, but would always take a big buck too. So haven't been getting a lot of big buck pictures in here. So that's why I figured a good spot to come and plunk a doe. So wish me luck.
this deer were out in front of me for, I don't know, 25 minutes and there was just too many and the wind's really been swirling and they kind of knew something was up and I was sitting down but I couldn't stand up and they ended up blowing out and I just stood up. That one just hung around. Feels good to put my first one on the ground. That was cool, man. We had one, two, three, four, six deer, spike, seven. I've had seven in here tonight already, so pretty cool hunt, man. We got down out of the stand, and we're going to go get her. Um, I want to give you guys a look at this food plot, though, and the size of these turnips. And you saw all these deer in here were just laying waste. This is pure attraction. I'm going to give you a look here. Let me... Uh, get up here and set my bow and my camera down and find some of these turnips but uh they're huge but check this out too here is the point of impact there's the stand up there right check out this blood bath good grief i don't think i'm gonna have a hard time trailing her I wanted to give you a look. This uh, this food plot is up to my kneecaps. You can just see. Maybe look here. Just turn it. I mean, loaded. This is going to be a great food source. Well into the late winter, we're going to have a lot of fun hunting here. This is the first week of October, and they're already hammering it. And that's one reason I love this blend from Pure Attraction. It's just a great early season, as well as late season blend. But we're going to go get her. But man, wait till I show you this blood trail. Okay, we're going to follow the blood trail. So here's the point of impact. Literally, I can just visually see it all the way up through there. Unbelievable. I mean, she is spilling out both sides. That's what you love in a rage blood trail, man. I'm gonna go get her, I'm gonna stop messing around with this and go recover my deer. I'm pretty sure I heard her crash right up in here. I just kind of came to the last spot that I saw her running because it's an absolute bloodbath. Blood all over there. Sure. Got us dead deer. Right here. Nice. That's how you do it. First year, 2022. And get her field dress, get her out of here, get her to the freezer, and Get back after it in a couple days. Good grief. That's a wrap. 